Hello all, my name is Krishnaik and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, this is just a general video for all those people who are preparing for data science or who are about to attend interviews in data science. Now, understand one thing that recently I had a conversation with one of my subscribers and a student of uh, iNeuron and he, he was going to have an amazing interview with one of the biggest MNCs in the world and uh, he was getting interviewed for a data science role. Uh, that person experiences somewhere around three to four years of experience and uh, you know this is the first data science interview he was about to attend now during that point of time you know he was quite ex excited about that and he wanted to have uh, some conversation with me to understand how probably the entire interview process may go ahead you know so he was uh, basically uh, like we were having a conversation and in that conversation you know he was picking up every topics that he find in the internet and probably he was coming up with that particular topic and he was saying that Krish, I don't know this specific thing. Please, can you help me out with this? You know, uh, and then suddenly he went with some high extreme topics, you know, which probably they may not, they may not ask for a three, four, three to four years of experience also. Right. And during this point of time, you know, he was like getting stressed more and more. Right. Now, understand one thing, guys. Uh, data science is quite vast, you know. You may have, and as you know, data science, whenever I say data science, it's all about machine learning, NLP, computer vision, uh, deep learning, probably developing an AI application, many more things. And nowadays, uh, you know, even uh, people who are highly experienced, they are learning DevOps, AI ops, ML ops and all. And they're trying to integrate in the project, right? And that is what industries are obviously want, right? But only if you are quite experienced. Now, the person with three to four years of experience obviously should focus more on the life cycle of a data science project and should focus more on solving how use cases needs to be solved, right? So uh, if from my past experience that I've actually seen uh, people, you know, for the people who are going for the interviews, who are somewhere around three to four years of experience, uh, they should mostly focus on how to solve a use case because they may be given a use case over there and they may follow some methodology in order to solve that specific use case. Now, this specific person was quite worried that, okay, I have to learn this, I have to learn that, I have to learn this, you know, probably, learn those topics also which uh, obviously like you see there are some topics definitely we need to learn and uh, uh, i'll also be happy to explain them on this because these are super important but what about those topics only for an experienced person they may ask so it is not necessary that you need to learn each and everything guys based on your years of experience you need, you need to learn things you need to practice things and as your experience keeps on increasing at that point of time you will automatically be able to understand that okay i need to learn this because probably based on my years of experience i may be given an architect or i may be given a lead data scientist role right so this is the first and the foremost important thing but the most important thing in any interviews that you go is that how do you solve a specific use case and within that only you need to include all the important things that you actually know so that your question revolves around it that is a strategy that everybody should use and i've also seen many people doing that so many people have cleared the interviews and uh, you know at the end of the day all the question revolves around the use cases right so after the interview of that specific person he came again to me and he asked and he even cleared the interview he was just saying that Krish, unnecessary, I was worried about so many topics uh, during my interview time. I was so stressed and he did well in the interview because none of the question came from that side, you know, which he was quite actually worried about. At the end of the day, he came to me and he told that Krish, everything, all the questions revolved around the use cases. Okay, so this is the most important point that I really want to say to all of you guys. You need not learn everything in data science. It's quite huge. You know, it's quite huge. Even the interviewer will not know that much. You know, I was an interviewer in my previous company. I've interviewed so many candidates, you know, when I see the candidates, right, they also come up with something new approaches. And I was also impressed by seeing that some of the approach I even did not know. Right. So this kind of scenario will happen. Don't think that the person who is actually sitting at that side of time, he will know each and everything that is present in the entire data science world. That is not at all possible. OK. So yes, uh, this was an important point that I really wanted to mention to all the people who are preparing for data science. Don't worry, don't have that FOMO feeling, you know, when you have an interview, focus more on the use cases, think of how you can actually solve for the use cases. But, but for the people who have more years of experience, they really need to think in system design level, they need to think regarding the architecture level and all, right? Probably let's say MLOps and all, how do you do the deployment and all, right? But yes, 
if you have a less than years of experience i would suggest just go with understanding how do you solve a use case so yes this was it for my side i hope you like this particular video and yes i will see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one all bye bye